right, here is the video review for Generation Toy Mixing Truck. Uh, this is part of their Gravity Builder series of figures, which obviously com combines into a familiar face. Um, and yeah, this one, this one came not with a packaging. I don't think his packaging was quite finalized yet. But um, very cool. The rubber tires on all these guys. I think I forgot to mention that in Scraper's review. But the rubber tires roll. Uh, the back, that back one doesn't want to doesn't want to catch very well. But um, yeah, a good little solid truck. He's got some neat little little features. His little uh, mixing thing comes up. But obviously, Scraper had the little fold down uh, ladders for people to get into it. The barrel does not spin, but uh, I'm okay with that, especially when it comes when you see it transform. Um, but yeah, really nice looking, uh, traditional looking cement mixer uh, versus Hasbro's, which uh, again was has is the front loading mixer that uh, just looks a little off. It does kind of have a, a semi cab looking thing on the back if you want to have it look like some sort of futuristic sand trawler mixer. But, uh, but yeah, overall, I, I feel much nicer vehicle mode than Hasbro's offering. Although, again, I understand why Hasbro made the decisions they did. But, you know, that, that, that's kind of the traditional look for Mixmaster, and I, and I think they succeeded there. Now, to get him into foot mode, it's actually a lot simpler, unless I'm missing something. This, Like I said, this guy came without packaging and instructions. There may be a flip-down piece in the heel that I have missed. I don't think so, but uh, just in case. Uh, but for the most part, the foot... Uh, you want to unhook the, uh, well, you want to un unhook these, kind of pull the front of the cab, the cab of the truck out just a little bit. Don't split that yet. And then this piece down here flips up onto the side like that. And same over here. And once that's done, you can kind of rotate this out. And there's actually a, there's actually a tab in here. Just, just you just want to get the, just the cab part to come undone here. You see this little this little tab, this little ridge in here slides into a slot on this inner piece, and you just want to get that out. It helps you, but you see there's there's that tab I was talking about. Because you just want to get the cab piece off of here. Come on, wasn't this difficult earlier? As you can see, here's the hinge right here you want it to, to come out on. There we go. So yeah, you just want this much to move here. There we go. So re-peg that together. So basically you just want that much to flip out. This stays pegged in on the front, and then these, these pieces with the wheels on them flip up and get that wheel out of the way. And same over here. Just kind of flip that up. And it actually kind of tabs in. There's a couple different places that you can't see because it's behind the panel, but it actually tabs into the side there. And lift that foot up, just like that. And then back here, you want to lift up these little gray panels here, rotate them out to the side, and they'll tab in right out here. Oh, his gun fell out, but his gun stores onto the vehicle mode. Um, so line those up. Make, again, make, make sure that the, it's on a dual hinge here. Make sure the, the gray hinge is straight out and then fold it down there where the purple hinge meets it. And you shouldn't have any problems getting those to lock in there. Oh. 
you have his foot. Now this piece will sit up against the, the hood here and uh, support it. This should stay pegged in. You can leave the gun pegged in. He's got the same combiner sliding joint here on top. And there's his foot move. Which again, we'll, we'll do a real quick comparison here with uh, the Combiner Wars foot mode, which is basically just flip that out and then flip out the connector up here. But it, it's essentially that. <laughs> and I think you unpeg the legs, but just to give you an idea of, a, of about the size comparison between these two, uh, he does also have some side to side uh, there for the uh, ankle tilt in combined mode. All right, we got Mixmaster, we got Hasbro Mixmaster here now in robot mode for that comparison coming up. And to get him into robot mode again, he's a little simpler than, uh, than uh, Scraper was. So you lift these up like that, bring the whole kit and caboodle down here, fold these back up. You want these to uh, you unpeg uh, these little tabs at the front here like that, and then these panels can flip up to give him uh, a little bit more room there in the knee. Uh, split the legs, obviously. Uh, the, then the bumper here, it's not just a tab apart, it's actually got a little kind of ridged piece here that goes into a slot from behind the other bumper, so make sure you don't pull straight out. You wanna make sure you push back on those. Uh, make sure this little slot goes back into place. I gotta snap it in there. Uh, again, th this little bar right here is the ridge that was holding the cab on that goes into these two slots here across the uh, the lower leg. So snap that all the way back in. If I can do it. It's this side that I need to get pressure on. There we go. So yeah, bring these up, straighten up the legs. These panels right here, you lift, uh, open them up like that, fold it down, and then lock it in like that. And that will form, kind of fills in the back of the leg here so it's not just a hollow space. And you can see there's the difference. Here, here's the back of the leg with this connected. Here's the back of the leg without that panel in. So you open these up. Flip it down, and you can see there's a little tab there, locks right into place right there. Uh, the uh, smokestacks rotate around, and the foot flips out. This closes back up. You rotate the foot around here at the hinge. Uh, there's a ball joint there, and then there's a little panel here that rotates around to form a heel piece. That'll support them. And there's the lower body done. Oh, and these little side pieces here fold out along the side of the legs, just like that. Um, then you go ahead and again, take his gun off. The arms come up, up his little missile. Hold on, I'll get it out of the bag. He's got a little assembly, uh, this little missile assembly that sits under his, uh, forms the back of the truck. Uh, it comes off, I believe, so you can uh, access this knee joint in combiner mode. Um, and it stays on pretty securely. It was it was in my work bag, so it had fallen off. But yeah, so there's a little missile pod right here. But um, the arms, and rotate, unpeg them here from the back that and you can rotate and you hear that ratchet I'll get that out of the way and then they come out you kind of pull straight out oh yeah and they, they peg in here so lift up the arm and pull it straight out and you'll see the shoulders come out from his body and there's actually a couple little flaps here when you're going back to a robot or vehicle mode make sure you lift these little flaps here but next to his head up a little bit 
uh, because the, the, those flip up when these push in. Bring those around so the heat tailing is facing the front. Fold this back around to the back of the arm. Tab the uh, elbow in. Up here. Now uh, rotate that back around to the back. Back around to the back. Uh, the chest piece lifts up, rotates, and pegs here onto the, the chest. Uh, his, his, this is cool. His missile turret does swivel up here as well. I will show off a little bit of that. And there's a little lever here that you can uh, just kind of support the uh, missiles. You can extend them out a little further on the uh, on the robot. And then on his back, and this is kind of cool, his uh, mixer splits. It actually slides out. It, it unpegs here and then slides out from the center on these little struts and just kind of helps fill out his back. And then he's got like a little jet thrusters or something here sticking on his back. And you can kind of fold that, pull that up and out uh, and fold these back in. And that kind of bulks him up around the body a little bit here in the silhouette, which is nice. And there he is in robot mode. Get him, get him all in here. Let's see if we can. Now his face, it's very hard to get uh, in here a look at his face. I'm going to bring him forward a little bit uh, and tilt the camera up so you can see the detail on his face there because uh, the way the... Uh, in normal lighting, you can see his face just fine. The camera's just having trouble picking it up because it's in the shadow of that uh, giant turret. But he, he also has the, the red light eyes and uh, lots of little clear plastic detailing all over him. So we'll go here. So we can't get that again, get that glare up a little bit. Uh, he, he can hold his pistol. Um, he, he has a little trouble holding his, the, the peg's a little short, but he can't hold his pistol. Oh, and the pistol actually does um, extend as well. So you can give him a, a bigger pistol than, than it looked like. Uh, he's got the same opening fingers that Scraper did. Uh, he does have wrist swivels. Um, he's got, like I said, the dual hinge joints there at the shoulder, uh, up and out, forward and back. Uh, he's got an elbow joint here. This one is, the, 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 the where this connects is actually a little loose. It looks like maybe there were some nubs here because there is a slot on the inside that may have gotten worn away. This is a production sample. This isn't this isn't a, uh, or a test shot. This isn't the final, final version of him, I don't believe. I think Scraper is about ready to go. Um, I don't know how many hands this has passed through on the way to me, um, but that should hold in place a lot better on the final product. I um, mean, even if it doesn't, it's not a huge deal. It's just a matter of holding that bicep in place uh, when you mess with it. Um, he does kind of have a waist swivel. Um, just got to make sure the mixer gets out of the way. And, and you want to make sure that he's not tilted side to side. Because when you tilt, when you use that ankle tilt side to side, uh, this part of his waist does kind of go into the lower half. So you want to make sure that that's straight and flat. Uh, and you can do the waist swivel. Say so he's holding his gun a little loose there. Um, he's got the uh, front and back ratcheting thighs, side to side, thigh swivel, uh, a double knee joint. There's a joint uh, right up here at the knee and then down in the green piece right here. I mean, kind of use that that panel as, as a ankle articulation if you want. Um, but he does have a ball joint there. It's not quite as, uh, it's like a hinge and ball joint. So you can get his foot to go forward and back. You can rotate his foot. Uh, and if you rotate it out a little bit, you get a little bit more side to side. He does not have as much a side to side ankle tilt as a scraper did. Oh, he, he does have a ball jointed head. Um, again, it's a little limited just due to the fact that it's kind of up in there as well as the, just the shape of the head. But you, you can turn his head. He does have a ball joint up in there as well. Here he is with his Hasbro counterpart. And again, I think this one looks much better. It's almost no contest with these two. He said Scrapper, I think, Scrapper has a very, the Hasbro Scrapper has a very cartoon look. Um, whereas this, and this, maybe this Mixmaster does too. I don't remember what Mixmaster looked like so much on the cartoon. But uh, he's got those weird feet because of the front ending, front loading mixer and all that. But so there's a real quick look at them. In robot mode, and we'll go ahead and see, turn his head out a little bit. 
And here's a side-by-side -side of scraper and mixing truck together. So yeah, all in all, this is looking, turning it, looking like it's going to turn out to be a pretty decent set, uh, or a pretty amazing set, actually, of uh, Devastator. Do you need another Devastator? That's your, that's something you got to answer for yourself. I was initially not going to pick it up, and uh, I have definitely changed my mind on that, because uh, these are some very nice uh, versions of the Constructicons. They're big without being huge. Uh, they're chunky without being, you know, like TFC's attempt at them. And, and, and even, even Hercules was good at the time, but the, these, I think, far surpass Hercules. I really, really love Scraper. Like, Mixmaster is very cool, too. Um, but something about Scraper just really, really hits me right in the uh, fun toy feels, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. It's a late night. Um, so, yeah, thanks to TF Source for sending these. Thanks to uh, also to the Chosen Prime and the Las Vegas Toy Collectors. Um all of whom I think feel were instrumental in getting me some of these samples to check out. Um, they're very, very cool. I, I, um, if, if you're on the fence about this, if you're thinking like I'm waiting on a review to decide if I want to spend money on these guys, I, th I think you're probably going to be happy if you spend money on these guys. Um, if you, if you weren't even looking at this before, like I said, this is, uh, it really comes, the, the only question you need to be asking yourself really is how many devastators do I have? Do I need another one? Um, because that, that that's a personal choice. I can't make that for you. Um, but I feel, but, but if you get this, I think you're going to be happy with it. These are some really nicely designed, very solid figures. Um, like I said, Scraper just looks great. I really, really dig him. So yeah, but anyway, enough about Scraper. We're focusing on Mixing Truck, who is also very cool. My, my like I said, my only minor complaint about Mixing Truck is that, uh, while, while I love this rotating turret, and I guess you can kind of rotate that out of the way. Oh, you, okay, you can. You can turn that around all the way. I guess it was getting caught on this mixer thing earlier. So you can, you, if you want to, you can turn that around to the back, the missile launcher, and give him like like a toilet seat head where the, where the stuff loads in, but it lets you, uh, makes his face a little bit more visible. So uh, my one complaint was going to be, or like minor nitpick was going to be that... Uh, because of this giant missile launcher thing. I don't think it comes all the way off. I'm not going to risk trying it. But, um, yeah, that's kind of nice now that uh, you can see his face much more clearly in robot mode. Let's do that real quick. So, yeah. Yeah, all in all, like I said, the packaging's nice. The figures are solid. Um, I don't think you're going to have any regrets if you go in on Gravity Builder, if you've been eyeing it, because uh, I was very pleasantly surprised for a set of figures that I had not initially planned on picking up.